Go ahead, Kevin. Do your thing. Look, C train approaching. Go ahead, Kevin. Get out the way! Oh my god! Kevin! Kevin! Oh! Kitty one, boom boom. Hi, everybody! I love the smell of New York. Then again, I do love a porta potty. We are on episode five of American Horror Story, New York City. We have our good friend Cheryl. And the always lovely and incomparable Cheryl. I don't know about you, but I'm stressed about Gino with the cat fever. And like, was he involved? Or is he like cursed? I mean, when he had that heart attack, I was like, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Wig. Um, what did you say? So I was getting like a little bit bored at first, but as the story's going on, I'm getting a little bit into it. They're hooking me in, you know, with the creepy and the gay. And the creepy gays. Everybody in the city's reacting different ways to all this terror, and we still don't have the answers of who's doing what, to who, when, why. And help me out here. It's gay terror. It's it's gay mayhem. It's it's America. America. Tuck in those boners or let them fly free. We don't judge here. Just don't let them touch me. Without asking first. Or giving like a really clear wink, like. Like the dick sound, you're just like. <laughs> and then I know, I know it's like, oh, it's coming. Okay. And then I'll be like, okay, good. I'll go get the meat cleaver. Okay. Tell me how! FX is American Horror Story NYC. <laughs> Is this yes. Patty? Kathy? Kathy is her own masterpiece. Yeah. I got better things to do than sink background for blowjobs and teabagging. So the new business is going well? Hardly. Kathy is a business woman. Me. A psychic reader? Who could it be? Would you go to a psychic, Cheryl? I've always been kind of curious. Actually, one time, I was on a first date, and we went to a psychic, and the psychic told both of us that the relationship was not going to work. That's not a good first date activity. No, it was terrible. No. And the relationship did not work. Ooh, give me her number. <laughs> and I want my fortune told. I came in because of the help wanted sign. Wait, she's also a, a fortune, fortune teller? teller? Was when all the boys come out and they love talking with leaders. Get a few drinks in them and suddenly she makes a dollar. She's an entrepreneur. Do whatever it takes. I need a paying job. I'm Fran. Do you have any experience with tarot cards, Fran? I see. Wait, I see a vision. We're gonna die one day. You are going to breathe. By telling them what they want to hear. I I got a gift. Oh, sure. What do you think? I think you need the money, and this sounds like a good gig. But I'll get it. And I need something to get. <gasps> oh, she's got the rush. Mm -mm. Get you come over here. You need to have your clothes. Don't do it. No, no, no. I've got to study these cards. You saved your I life, friend. It's but... studious. Big Daddy. What the? I was across the street, and that was staring at me. She's pregnant. Are they having a baby together? Oh my God. Are they? Are they? Oh. In vitro. What if it's neither? <laughs> Bitch, that's just Fran. Oh. Everything I've told you about Plum Island is a God's honest truth. Did you even bother following up on any of the leads I gave you? Probably not. Okay. One card, one chance, and then we're out of here. It's gonna be death. Is death a card? Yeah. I don't know shit about cards, though. The Empress. Ah, I guess that's connected to feminine energy. Have you been wishing for a daughter? I'm not sure. Here, I'm psychic. You won't know the gender of your child until they're old enough to tell you. Wow. Whoa. Oh, 
What yeah. does I'm a psychic. We don't have like tarot readings in media without drawing the death card. It does not happen. Double death. What kind of business do you think you're running here? Death, 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 death. Come on, we're going. Let's go. What? They're normal again. She is not okay. What is happening to Miss Girl? Sign the fucking paper. That we don't have a marriage. Who cares if we don't do all the things that have something lying to her? She wants to live life as a lie because she's been taught that it's the so right thing to do, which is so sad. So many lives lost. Be friends. Honestly. To the sauce. The heteronormative sauce. They has liquor in that sauce. <laughs> this city's really gone to hell. And she just falls out. Splat. Ah! <laughs> <gasps> ah, splat! <laughs> no, she's got that cat scratch, whatever. Cat scratch. <laughs> Wife, life, strife. Sorry. No, come on. Wait until you meet him. He's so cute, but he's been inside all day. Hey, wait, he's not gonna meet the dog. Never mind. No, he can take care of her. I'll go anyway because despite everything, I'm still gonna be there for you. Thank you. She loves every moment of this. She, yeah. It looks musty in there. There's like a haze. Musty, no lights working. My mommy's friend. Oh, I would be turning There's a there. dead body in there. It's alive. Okay. Is it a cat? It's the police. Okay, Russell. <laughs> Why is he up in her apartment? Why isn't he in my closet? So we had one of our viewers whose name I will list right here. At Rotten on the Vine, Doc Fiction 1490. Um, they said that they think Big Daddy is actually just a manifestation of Russell Tovey's shame. And now as he, Big Daddy keeps on popping up, especially at that, uh, that random spot with Russell Tovey, I'm like, that totally makes sense. Out of the closet. It makes sense. It's supernatural elements becoming more apparent. So good on you. I think you might've figured it out. It's giving like Silent Hill 2, no, no, what, the really game. The Fight Club. I guess that's the more approachable reference. <laughs> but we'll see. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. <gasps> Weird lips working at the hospital. Where are those two gays that he took up in the elevator? Oh, they're gone, sweetie. Oh my god, they had hospital gowns with belts? Wait, that's just her dress. Oh, giving birth to something with tentacles. That was last season. Yeah, an American Horror Story pregnancy is always fucking haggard. Yeah, it's never gonna go right. <laughs> Her blood count is low. She has like some weird mess. After the fire at the bar, when I took blood samples from the burn victims at the hospital, they all had low red blood cell counts. Including me. What is happening? I'm just waiting for a deer to yeah. show up and just nail her. God, Patrick. Like this person is following me to hurt me or to get to you. Uh -huh. No. That dog would be punted out that window in 2.3 seconds flat. What would the kids say? Yeet! Maybe uh, she could tell us more about our relationship. Not the psychic again. Okay. Well, she's a little punk ass bitch. Miss Cleo knows. Call me now! My boyfriend's This whole season is so strange, but it's very interesting. A lot of cards. 
This is just like Yu Gi Oh! An awakening. It's a great card. The devil! The devil can be playful and fun. He represents the questioning intellectual. Not the death. Who's gonna die? Whoa! Girl, you just went full Linda Blair. What are you talking about? I have a little crush on Gino, not gonna lie. A little? Gino's coming for a reading. We use a standard tarot deck. Oh, she has a different than Fran. Judgment. The devil. Death. The same three. They're getting their money's worth with this um, fortune gen setting. Judgment. The devil. E. Muerte. Death. You tell yourself the sun was caused by the Ooh, the fog's the rolling in, honey. <gasps> oh. The angel of death. Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking Shakath from Asylum. No. It was not Francis Cuff. No, but they were definitely trying to sell it. Did he even pay? No, no one has been paying. Huh. Everybody's taking a shower. There's nothing in him yeah, he's still itching. Are you shaving for real while she's showering? Is she like... Yeah, yeah, no, that's happening. I mean, I guess it's like good for your skin. Oh! <gasps> yeah, oh, now he's seen daddy. Oh! Yo. He was never there. Wow. He was never there. Justice for Barb! Oh, the elevator gaze? Oh my god, this torturing bitch! You don't understand, you don't have the full picture. And that, that's my fault. It's about giving your life meaning. It's about being a part of something, something that's bigger than yourself. And that's but what the? We're gonna change this city. Finally. Okay, Rudy Giuliani, sit down. I've been on my own for so long. I'm starting to go crazy. Starting. This year, I've decided that the parade will mean something. For this the first is time, seriously disturbing. It Does it honest. feel super realistic? What? A sentinel made from the people this city despises. It's all different parts of people. Of change. It isn't as bad as it looks, but he's missing two very important parts: the seat of the soul and the heat of the horns. <laughs> this is a fucked up Frankenstein. Yeah. Ugh, nothing like that to brighten up your holiday season. Final thought. So, whoa, what the fuck? I mean, amongst other things, <laughs> we went full Mary Shelley at the end there. We went Mary Shelley. We went Miss Cleo. A few times over. Mm -hmm. That is so Raven. This episode focused a lot on psychics and tarot readings and... And the paranormal. We were kind of questioning whether or not this show was getting paranormal, but this episode kind of confirms it. Confirm. What was what's it? Sorry. Shakath. Shakath, who I think it's a really cool way that we're connecting the whole series with that bit there with that character. It's definitely supernatural because 
Leslie Grossman saw her ex-husband like standing there shaving and she was all doing her little dance, which I was like, good for you. And then Big Daddy showed up right behind her right after being in Gino's apartment right behind it was him. Like, it was like cut together, like it was almost at the same time. I really do think that this whole theory of Big Daddy being a manifestation of Patrick's inner shame and struggle with being a gay man who loves leather and licking dudes, I think we could be on to something here. <laughs> No, we no. got Patty Lapone, like all of Patty Lapone. She's running the tarot card shop. She is an entrepreneur. She, you know, runs New York, not to be dramatic or anything, but so it's like, you gotta go through her. So Billy Lord's pregnant, but why? <gasps> yes, what's going on there? They're and, planning something. And why? They said that thing at the fire, like, oh, we did a good job or something like that. Yeah. Weird. I think it's the whole thing when she killed all the deer because the deer had that disease. I feel like the fire was almost an attempt to like kill a bunch of queer people because of the because of the disease that's going around. And I think that she is a part of that. She's like, well, how did I get it now? Ooh, no, you know. she has it because her baby is gay. I don't know. Well, guys, it has been quite the endeavor. But join us next time for episode six called The Body. And where is the body? The body is beautiful. My body, my body's telling me yes. Bye guys.